<laughs> so I just finished my first week of my internship and it has been an absolute roller coaster. Um, I started out and they gave me a whole bunch of files for an embedded systems and they said, here you go, have fun and left. And I was just like, what am I doing? I had no idea. So I just started opening because there were so many files. It was one folder, but within that folder, there was like a hundred files, right? I finally found something called main and I'm like, Hey, this looks promising. So I started with main and then I just went through all of the different function calls and trying to understand and it's embedded systems. So it's like the really difficult stuff. I was, what the heck is this? I, did I do the right thing of choosing engineering? Like, why did I choose this major? <laughs> you know? Um, and so for the first like four days, I had literally no idea what anything was. I had no idea about um, what any of the actual files were doing. I had no idea, like when people would talk to me, I would have no idea what they were even talking about. Like ADC, what what is an ADC? Later I found out it's analog to digital converter. Okay, I2C, what is I2C? I don't know, I've never used it, but I figured that out yesterday and like all of these things, which I had never touched in school. School was just theoretical. It's it's all math. Everything that I did in school was 100% mathematics. And all of a sudden I got to this and I was just trying to figure out like, okay, well, obviously I'm going to get fired because I can't, like, how long are they going to let me just, uh, <laughs> uh, what's the correct word just wombo <laughs> wombo around <laughs> and not knowing what i'm doing and just essentially not being able to create anything like right now okay fine they're not going to fire me because they don't know that i don't know anything right but once they find out once they have me start like actually doing something then the problem is going to arise, right? Like all of a sudden, then I'm not able to do it anymore. And they're like, or then I'm not able to do it. And they're going to be like, Hey, this guy's an idiot. This guy, we need to get rid of him. Right? Like that's, that's what I was worried about. But I started like, cause I take a ton of notes. Like that's my study method. Just take writing, physically writing, not typing physically writing I kept writing okay this function call this variable this and just like tracing everything back and uh then I would go home and study more about operating systems and I'll, like everything that I wrote down in my notebook what's DAC what's I2C what's this what's that how does this and looking at the different like enom right okay well what's an enom and then okay this thing is a structure. So what are the different member variables of that structure and going through everything? And eventually now that was, uh, yes, or, uh, yesterday, which is Thursday was the first day that I started to be like, okay, I can kind of understand a little bit, right? Just like, I kind of see what's going on. And then at the very end of the day on Thursday, it was, okay, I talked with my boss and he told me about, well, we want a LED light to go off if it is a certain condition. So if the battery is charging, it should have a green light. If the battery is low on battery, it should have a yellow light. If it's really low, it should have a red light, right? But don't worry about the inputs. All you need to do right now is try to get it where you can change the LED based off of different triggers, right? Just like if a variable is set or not set or something like that. And when he was talking, I was like, oh. I didn't say this because I didn't want to like, what if I couldn't do it, right? <laughs> like, I don't want to say, oh, I can do that. And then 
nope, I can't do it, right? So I didn't say anything. I just, okay, 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 all right. Like, that's what I, I said. But in my heart, I was thinking, oh my goodness, I think I can actually do this. I think I can actually do something. Oh my goodness. Maybe I won't get fired from this job. Maybe I won't, like, maybe I actually do have the capability to do this. So then today, um, I started working on it and I, I got something very close to what he was talking about. Um, and now I'm going to try to improve upon it going into next week and, um, study more about the different, like what ex like, for example, in I2C, it is talking about, okay, well you need, you can, uh, talk to a different device like that's what i2c is is from one device to another you're communicating between the two but how do i actually identify what this device that i'm talking to what is it's it has like a identification number well what is it and then from my device how do i actually put the address of that identification number into my code so i'm going to try to figure that out um uh, at home uh, over the weekend. So I have a lot of studying to do over the weekend. Um, but at least I feel like, okay, I can, I can do something. Maybe I won't just get fired. Maybe I can actually produce something and be beneficial to the company and, you know, like be successful at this internship. Um, the people here are amazing. They're like really nice very supportive, very helpful. Um, I, yeah, I really like my coworkers. Um, and let's see, I'm, I mean, the internship itself is incredible for me, right? Because I'm learning every single day. I'm learning so much. It, it is, uh, like dr what's the phrase drinking from a, a, a fire, uh, fire what? something anyways drinking a lot of water and uh, too quickly right like there's a lot of information coming in and i can't absorb all of the information and sometimes it's it's like completely overwhelming because i'll be trying to understand one thing and then my boss will come over to me and he's like oh you should talk to this person he's in charge of the battery charge and charging and then he'll go, right? And I'll be like, well, I don't have any intelligent question to even ask him. And I was working on trying to understand I2C, not the battery charging. So now I'm like, okay, well, I need to put this on pause and then go start learning about the battery and charging so that I could ask this guy an intelligent question because I don't want to just like ignore my boss's <laughs> suggestion, right? So like, all right. So switch over to this and then while I'm doing that, I get another task uh, to, or I come into something else that I don't understand. So then I need to go off into that direction and understand that before I can come back. I'm learning a lot, a lot, but it is completely overwhelming. Again, for the first Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, I felt so bad or even Thursday because half half day into Thursday. Um, I felt like, so I thought I was felt like throwing up. I was just so anxious and nervous. Like, man, I'm not going to be successful. I'm not smart enough. I, I just, I don't think I have the capability of doing this. Um, it's so difficult. Um, but then after Thursday, uh, the half day, uh, Half the day I was uh, really worried, but then I started to understand it the second half of the day. And then I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then today, Friday, I feel better. Um, I still think that I have a lot to learn. I have a whole bunch of notes, so I'm gonna study that over the weekend. It's Christmas weekend, so it's a long weekend. I have uh, Saturday, Sunday, um, and then Monday and Tuesday, so four day weekend. So I have a lot that, a lot of time that I can study and I have a lot of things to study. So it kind of works out, right? So yeah, I just wanted to give a little update on my uh, internship. I have been 
very stressed out, very worried, um, extremely busy. I will do my, I'll wake up 5.30, come to work, do a eight hour work, right? Go home, study, watch YouTube videos about uh, like operating systems. And they're explaining, the video that I'm watching is explaining like line by line essentially what a certain operating system is doing. And then any of the other concepts which I come into contact with over that day and then just going to sleep wake up do it again right like i have had zero free time but again it's good because i'm learning so much right like i'm really happy and thankful for this internship um to be able to give me the opportunity to learn so much it's a really good internship like this is a great 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 experience and I was just so worried, like, I'm going to lose this ex this chance that I have. I finally got this opportunity, you know, and I didn't want to lose it. And that's why I was, like, really worried. But okay, now that I feel like I can do something, I feel a little bit more assured that I will continue having this opportunity. And I just need to focus to make sure that I maximize every single day learning as much as I can, taking advantage of this opportunity to actually better myself and, and, and gain all of this knowledge. And I have this opportunity to, to just, uh, talk to all of these people who are, who have worked in the, uh, in their respective, uh, uh, fields for a really long time. And they have a, a deep understanding of these, uh, concepts. I can talk to them, ask them questions, gain knowledge from them. I have a whole bunch of uh, uh, production code that I can look at and learn from and and dive into, right? Like I, I, I'm very excited. Now it's kind of going away from that nervousness. Like I'm gonna get fired because I I can't do it, or they're gonna find out that I'm I'm not smart or something like this. I'm getting away from that a little bit right now. And now I'm getting into kind of the excitement that, okay, cool. I can keep this opportunity to learn so much. So yeah, that is, uh, what's, uh, going on. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Timothy Lee Grant, and I will see you later. <laughs>